Let's dive into the very simple topic of bond spot rates and bond forward rates and how you can calculate one using the other. To illustrate spot rates and forward rates, we're going to use an example with a timeline. So we're starting at t equals zero, so that means today. t equals one would be one year from today, t equals two would be two years from today, and t equals three is three years from today. t is time, by the way. So if you wanted to lend money to someone today for one year, that would be the spot rate, and we'll call that S1. So let's say that that rate is equal to 5%. Now, let's say you wanted to lend money to someone for from starting today for two years, so we would call that S2. So let's say that rate is 7%. If I want to lend you money today for two years, it'll be 7% per year. And now let's say I want to lend you money starting today for three years. That will be the spot rate for three years. So S3 will say that equals 8%. But what if I wanted to lend you money for one year starting one year from today? So not starting today, one year from today. That's what we call the forward rate. So denoted by this orange line. So we'll say that is F1, 2. And then we also have uh, a forward rate. So let's say I wanted to lend money to someone um, starting two years from today for one year. So we could call that F2, comma, 3. Now let's calculate the forward rate from year one to year two using the spot rates. We can use the spot rate at time one and the spot rate to time two to find this forward rate, okay? And so I'll just show you, it's a pretty simple calculation. So it's gonna be one plus S2, so spot rate to year two squared, because you're essentially getting this rate for two years. So if you were to lend someone money for two years at 7%, it would compound twice. So that's the reason for the exponent to time two equals 1 plus the spot rate at time 1 multiplied by 1 plus the forward rate from time 1 to time 2. Okay, and so you're basically saying if I get this period 1 payment multiplied by this period 2 payment, it should equal out to the twice compounded uh, two-year spot rate payment. Okay. So now we'll just plug in some numbers. So it'll be 1 plus 0 0.07 squared equals 1 plus 0 0.05 times 1 plus F12. You can see we have all of the numbers here besides the forward rate. So we're really just going to be solving for that forward rate. So we can find uh, 1.07 squared is actually 1.144. Four, nine, and then we can divide that by the 1.05 to cancel it out from the other side and that's equal to 1 plus the forward rate and then if we just subtract 1 from both sides we end up getting 9.04 percent equals the the forward rate from year 1 to year two. So basically, if I achieve a return of 5% in year one, and then a return from year one to two of 9.04%, that would be the same as me achieving a rate of return of 7% the first year and 7% the second year. But what if we wanted to lend someone money for one year, starting two years from today? So from period two to period three, we'd lend them that money for one year, and we wanted to lock that contract in today. How would we find that rate that we require? Well, it would be a very similar calculation. So we could use the spot rate to three years. So we'd say one plus S3, so the three year spot rate, to the power of three, right? Because this is gonna compound three years. Would be equivalent, so would be equivalent to getting the spot rate, one plus the spot rate of the to two years, two times, so we put the second exponent there, multiplied by 1 plus the forward rate from year 2 to year 3. Right, so this is essentially 3 years of compounding on the left side, 
and then three years of compounding on the right side, right? Two years of the compounding happens with this, the spot rate at two years, and then the last year is that forward rate, okay? So then we're going to say 1.08 to the power of 3 is equal to 1.07 to the power of 2 multiplied by 1 plus the forward rate. Okay, and then we can basically just say that, you know, 1 plus that forward rate is equal to 1.08 to the power of 3 divided by 1.07 to the power of 2. And if we solve for that and subtract by 1, we find that this forward rate is actually equal to 10.03%. And so we could say it's equivalent to if we earn interest rate interest at a rate of 7% in year one, 7% in year two, and then an interest rate of 10.03% in year three would be equivalent to earning a compounded 8% interest rate three times.